So, this is it. This is it. Do you like it? What's not to like? It's wonderful. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, when does Ryan see it? Tomorrow. But we've been looking at photos online for days. Why do I hear a little apprehension? It's just, it's so expensive, Dad. Mm, I thought you two were saving. We have. We are. It's, it's a big decision. All right. Well, maybe I can help and contribute to the Williams Family Homestead Fund. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I couldn't ask that of you. One, you didn't ask. Two, I'm your father. What a father's for? You've helped enough over the years. If we want this house, we have to work on it. <laughs> your mother would be so proud of you. I know. I wish she was here to see it. I know. Me too, sweetheart. Excuse me. Oh. Vivian, your showing isn't until tomorrow. I was just driving by with my dad, and I wanted to show him the house. Sandy Casper. Hi, uh, Roger Fields. Uh, well, normally I'd be happy to let you look early, but there's another couple in there. I was just heading to my car to give them some privacy. It's okay. I wasn't expecting to see the house anyway. Well, in that case, look away. I will just leave you to it. Do you own a home, Mr. Fields? <laughs> it's Roger, and yes, I do. Okay, if you ever think about selling, you get my number from Vivian here. Will do. My guys. <laughs> Ready to go, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> you are. Wow. I just, I really don't want to get my hopes up. I'm starting to fall in love with this place. It's yours. Relax. You got it. Okay. We're not late. Oh, relax. I'm sure Sandy's just taking the cookies out of the oven. It's an old realtor trick. You have fresh cookies baking, so it smells like home. How would you know that? You've never bought a house before. Mm -hmm. Movies? Stop worrying. I have a good feeling about this one. Well, that's what you said about the last one, and then we found out it had a septic tank and no central air. Just have some faith, all right? You know the best part about a new house? All the new rooms to christen. Hey guys, <laughs> wait until you see the inside. Huh? What I love about this room is how light it is. Because of the placement of the windows, no matter where the sun is, it's light and bright. I can't get over this crown molding. It's extraordinary. Well, I told you about the owner, didn't I? Mm. Well, he inherited it from his parents. It's been in the family for years, and he's very particular. About? About the house. And who buys it? Let's head upstairs. As you can see, the bedroom has lots of light also. And um, plenty of room for his and hers. Mm. Mostly hers. As in every marriage. You'll find out. <laughs> I really love this color. Wow, the owner has excellent taste. Wait until you see the bathroom. Come on, guys. The owner has recently made some upgrades. Mm. I assure you, nothing major that requires a disclosure. This house was built to last. What's the catch, Sandy? No catch. The owner is moving to the desert, I believe, and he's not looking to make a huge profit. He just wants to wrap the deal up quickly. You're ready for a cash offer? Yeah, we've been saving for a while now. It's good. That will help. I just still can't get over the price. I know. He could get a little more out of it, but he's really not interested in wringing every dollar he can out of it. He just wants to make the deal. And then there are the minor repairs. I don't love how you keep mentioning that. I swear on my realtor's oath, it's nothing big at all. Small things like that faucet in the main bathroom. And I'm confident that the owner will come and do those fixes himself before you guys even move in. So what do you think? <laughs> make the deal. <laughs> How did it go? Oh, Josh, you scared me. I saw we had some prospective buyers. Yeah, Josh, you really shouldn't come here unannounced. It's not appropriate. They didn't see me. So what'd they say? They want it. <laughs> Good. 
So make the deal. What? I said, make the deal. Josh, we still have a handful of, of showings, and if we get enough interest, it could spark a bidding war. You said they want it, right? Well, I want her to have it. Her? You know, we could go back to them and, and probably bump up the price. No. The first offer is always the best. Make the deal. Josh, as your realtor, it's incumbent upon me to give you my professional opinion. I really think we could get more. I know. Whose house is this, Sandy? It's your house, obviously. And who do you work for? I work for you, Josh. Then do what I ask. She should have this house. Josh? I saw the for sale on the lawn. Look, Josh, we wanted to give you some time after Michelle left, but we were worried. You're worried? About both of you. We're fine, Jill. What happened, if you don't mind me asking? I do. Pardon? I do mind you asking. I don't want to pry, but I've always liked Michelle. Hey, don't talk to me about my personal life, Jill. No, I, I didn't mean to get Things to Things would be a lot life. better around here if people just minded their own business. you what's wrong still can't believe this is really ours yep all we have to do now is clean it decorate it upgrade some of the appliances yeah oh, it's the <laughs> can unpacking wait well, what did you have in mind mm -hmm. How much time did you take off work? I told them I'd be out the whole week. And they're okay with that? Well, nobody wants to say no to the youngest VP of sales in the company's history. No, they were fine. And believe me, I have plenty of vacation time banked. Can we go to the hardware store first thing in the morning? I have a million things I want to do. Okay, just remember, as good of a deal as we got on this place, we poured most of our savings into it, all right? Meaning what? Meaning we can't do everything right away. Fine, I won't tear down the walls. Good. Yet. Besides, Sandy said the old owner of the house has to come by to fix a few things. Oh, well, I'll believe that when I see it. It seems to me that... Did you hear that? Hear what? That sound. Okay, well, what sound? I don't hear Shh. any... You sure you didn't hear that? It's just the house settling. Okay, we may have moved in, but this is not a new house. Okay, I just meant that... We're not used to it sounds yet. It took us a while to get used to our apartment, too. Our apartment didn't have any noises. Oh, really? You're telling me that the Landeckers who lived above us didn't make any noise? Okay, well, those were more predictable noises that happened at the same time. Right. Every night. <laughs> all right, all I'm saying is in a few days, you won't even notice it, all right?
Brad Parsons. Uh, my family and I live right over there. Ryan Williams. My wife and I just moved in. Yeah, I know. We saw you unloading, but we didn't want to interrupt. To be honest, I didn't want to be recruited to help. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. No, I appreciate that. Is it just you and your wife? Oh, no. We got one in diapers. I know. I know. We got a late start. You? No, not yet. I didn't think so. You look too well rested. <laughs> You know, it's nice to get some new blood in the neighborhood with prices so high now, it's hard to attract young families. Mm. Sorry, I don't want to keep you, but once you guys get settled in, please come on by. I know Joe would love to meet you. I will do. Thanks, Brad. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. Let me tell you, those wall anchors... Ah! Are you all right? Well, who the hell are you? I'm Josh Thomas. Sandy, your realtor didn't tell you I was coming by? I... Used to live in this house. Oh, she did, but you don't knock? No, I did, I, I swear. I thought that because you knew I was coming by that. I'm sorry. It was stupid. Can we, can we just start over? <sighs> Guess there's no harm done. Ryan Williams. It's my wife, Vivian. Hi. Anyway, uh, like I was trying to say, I'm afraid I left a few things undone here. I recently fixed the faucets, not just here, but upstairs too, and I used the wrong kind of sealant. I really just wanted to leave the place in perfect condition for you guys. Do you want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> the realtor mentioned that you were moving to the desert. Well, I don't know if I'd say desert, but yeah, I'm moving to Utah. My brother has a construction company there, it's a growing area, and he can use some help. So you're in the construction business? Assistant project manager. Mostly commercial sites. If you don't mind me asking, why are you leaving? Sandy said this was your family home. Yeah, I grew up here, then I lived here with my fiance. Recently, I, I lost her. She was my first love. I'm so sorry, I, I had no idea. Thank you. It hasn't been easy. I feel like I could use a fresh start. I don't blame you. Uh, by the way, the realtor said that there were still a few things that needed fixing. It's not much, I promise. You'll see once you get into it. <laughs> Ryan? Ryan couldn't change a light bulb if his life depended on it. <laughs> You're not very handy around the house? Well, apparently someone doesn't think so. But to be fair, I've never really had the opportunity. We've only lived in apartments. Look, I don't want to put you guys on the spot, but... I'm not leaving for Utah for a few weeks yet. I'd be happy to spend some time fixing up the house for you. Why would you do that? I mean, most people when they sell their house, they can't wait to get out. You're probably right, but that's not how I do things. When I leave something, I want to leave it in better condition than when I found it. I don't know. I just charge you the cost of materials. I know this house better than anyone. The bones are good. It doesn't even need much. And I promise you won't find better craftsmanship. After all, I've had a lot of good memories here. I'm sorry, this must be so hard for you. This house, it wasn't just a project for me. It was my home. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Dill Parsons. My husband met yours earlier today. Oh, right, right. He told me. How are you? Just fine. Oh, baby monitor. The little one's taking a nap. Do you have kids? <laughs> yeah, just one. 18 months. I know. We got busy. The <laughs> clock was ticking. <laughs> I don't know how you get any sleep. I don't. <laughs> I want to invite you inside, but... Yeah, sorry. Brad and I will have you guys come over so soon. It's just... It's been so hectic over here with this little one. I can imagine. I was actually going to stop by earlier. I was walking the baby in the stroller, and I thought I saw you in the house. Oh, I wasn't home today. Oh, I saw someone in the window. Probably your husband, then. He wasn't home either. Then probably a shadow, just a trick of the light. Listen, it's not like I'm all too sharp these <laughs> days. Mommy brain and all. <laughs> I will let you put those away, but it was really nice to meet you. 
I think you're really gonna like this neighborhood. Thank you, Jill. We'll see each other soon. Yeah, all right, bye. done on the house today? Not nearly as much as I wanted to, but I did make a list. Josh called, though. Yeah? Yeah, you say he's coming tomorrow to fix a few things? You ever wonder? What? If he's so keen on fixing everything, why'd he sell so quickly? He said it. He wanted to change. And he did get a good offer. <sighs> but it wasn't a good offer. At least not as good of a one as he could have gotten. Maybe he didn't want the hassle. I mean... He is moving out of state. No. We're lucky he did it. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Ryan, did you come home today? No. Why? I don't know. Jill, the neighbor, said she saw someone inside. Well, obviously she didn't. Yeah, obviously. Just make sure Josh really knows what he's doing, all right? What do you mean? I mean, he says he's plenty handy, but... I can see him starting a project, and then we have to call a professional just for them to finish it. He does this for a living. I'm sure he knows his limitations. How's everything going? It's just fine. I'm almost finished. You didn't update this kitchen all by yourself, did you? Yeah, I'm not that talented. I'm more of what you'd call an amateur handyman. Well, that's a good skill to have. Like I told you last time, Ryan doesn't even know how to use a hammer. <laughs> well, I never had much of a choice. You know, my dad taught me most of this stuff when I was just a kid. Oh, was he in construction too? Among other odd jobs, hmm. men of his generation, they were just good with their hands. <laughs> my mother used to say it's what attracted her to him. Oh, I meant to ask you. What's the deal with the attic? Is it just for storage, or can I do something with it? Not much to see up there. It's mostly dust and insulation, I imagine. I don't even know how to get up there now. Well, there's a door in the ceiling in the back of the walk-in closet. We never used it. It's probably rusted through or painted over at this point. Hmm. Okay, well, shout if you need anything. I'm gonna do some errands. Will you be here when I get back? Yeah, depends how long. I have a few other things I gotta get done. Okay, bye. Hi Josh, it's Dr. Shaw. You missed our appointment this week. I just wanna make sure you're okay. Then please call me back as soon as you can. On my cell. I'm a little worried about you. You're back. Uh-huh. I grabbed the shower. I hope you don't mind. No, no, it's fine. You sure you're okay? All right, goodbye. Viv! In here! You okay? 
Why does everyone keep asking me that? Who's everyone? Sorry. <sighs> mm. What'd you think? About? Josh fixed it. Looks good, I guess. So, dinner or... I haven't even thought about it. Are you sure you're okay? That was exhausting. Good thing I am a strapping young lad. Oh, I couldn't agree more. I am feeling it a bit more than I used to, though. Josh, I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to thank me. You're paying me. Oh, yeah, well, we're not paying you nearly as much as you deserve. We both know that. I'm not leaving for Utah just yet. If I wasn't working, I'd be going crazy trying to find something to do. It's a win-win. Well, I just want you to know how much we appreciate it. Uh, let's just say you owe me one. You know, I've been meaning to ask you, where are you staying now that you've sold this house? Oh, um, Sandy found me a place. An apartment downtown around by the week. Mm. Reminds me of where I met my fiance. Josh, what happened to your fiance? If you don't want to talk about it, I completely understand. No, that's fine. It's probably good for me to talk about. It's just hard. I'm so sorry. Hello? Ryan, I didn't hear you come in. Hello, Josh? Hey, Ryan. It's good to see you. Should I join you? No, no. I have to get going. Ryan, you should see what Josh did. I assume the invoice will be itemized. No, nah, it, it was nothing. It makes me feel good. Just knowing the house is in better condition than when I owned it. Don't worry. It's not much upkeep to anything. Vivian will show you everything you need to do. Hey, thanks for the beer. What? <sighs> what? Really? Oh, come on. You can't be serious. I mean, I don't know. I come home from work and my wife's having beers with the handyman. Oh, he's not just a handyman. He's doing us a favor. And you know how much this place means to him. I'm just teasing. So he really did do a good job? Oh, he did a great job. Let me show you. I grabbed a shower.
Is there a problem with the house? Oh, no, no, the house is great, Sandy. Good, okay. you had me worried for a minute. <laughs> I actually wanted to talk about Josh. Josh? Yeah, how well do you know him? He's a client, that's all. Did something happen? No, 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 he's just doing some minor work at the house. Like you said, I was just... Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. I, uh, I heard you found him a place before he moves. What do you mean? Before he moves to Utah. He said he has a place downtown. He may, but I didn't find it for him. Do you know where he's staying? I have no idea. I, I have his number. Oh, no, no, I have it. He's still doing some work for us. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Yep. Uh, shower's not working. Get you a new shirt. Sorry, everything's still unorganized, but let me get you one of Ryan's t shirts. I don't know if your husband's shirt's gonna fit me. cousin and his wife. Ryan's parents died when he was a teenager, so Casey's been like an older brother to him ever since. They're actually coming over for the barbecue tomorrow. It's time we show off the place. It's too bad you're going to Utah. You wouldn't really like them. They're good people. Yeah, well, they say there's plenty of good work out there. I thought you were working with your brother. Yeah, I, I mean, after that. Well, I'm sure you will land on your feet. <sighs> I should go. Wait, Josh. We still haven't paid you for everything. I'll send you the invoice. Okay. I saw Vivian Williams went into your office today. I hope there was nothing wrong with the house. Aren't you still doing some work for them? What did you want? I'm sorry, my conversations with my clients are I'm your client! That is true. But my conversation with Ms. Williams is confidential. That being said, I'm sure if there was an issue, she would bring it up to you. I just want to know why she stopped by. Did you tell Ms. Williams that I found an apartment for you? Did she say that? Did you? I'm sorry. My conversations with Vivian Williams are confidential. Okay, well, if you don't want anything else... Oh, but I do. So is your mind still spinning at night? Are you able to sleep? 
I haven't been getting that much sleep lately. And have you been doing your mindfulness exercises? Josh? I've been trying to live in the moment. That's good. And? And it's not working. Sorry to hear that. Why do you think that is? The white bear problem. I'm sorry, what? You're telling me you're a psychiatrist? You're not familiar with the white bear problem? No. Dostoevsky came up with it. Basically, the more you try not to think about something, say a white bear, the more you're compelled to think about it. I don't really see how that applies to what we The more doing. I try not to think about her, to forget her, the more I can't get her out of my head. That doesn't matter anymore. Oh? Why is that? I found someone. You seem surprised. <sighs> this face hasn't broken that many mirrors, Dr. Shaw. Okay, that's not what I meant, Josh, and you know it. It's just that you've been so consumed with your ex fiance I didn't expect you to be... That I'd ever find someone else? I didn't say that. So, tell me about her. She's a special woman, Dr. Shaw. A very special woman. I actually thought he still had a few more things to do, but you said he was finished. I'm glad he's done. Never trusted that guy. Why? Because he gave us a deal of a lifetime or because he went above and beyond what he promised? You're pretty defensive. I'm not defensive. I'm just trying to point out that there's no reason to dislike him. Except... What? Nothing. Vivian. What? I said nothing. Fine, so you paid him and everything? He emailed me the invoice, and he'll pick up the check this weekend. Oh, uh, Ryan. I was expecting Vivian. Clearly. I just came to pick up the check. I sent Vivian the invoice. Oh, well, I control her check, but... You know, I looked at the bill as well. And it was fair. A little too fair, actually. Almost like you had an ulterior motive. You happy with the work? Oh, yeah, no, the work is fine. You know, you did a commendable job. You would know, right? You know, Josh, I'm going to say this as politely as I can. I don't ever want to see you again. Why would you? My work is done. Mm-hmm. I'm going to miss working with Vivian Ryan. She has excellent tastes. Better than I think she realizes. You know, I've known my wife for a long time, Josh. You're not her type. Enjoy your new home, Ryan. I'm sure you'll have just as many happy memories here as we did. Yeah. Are you sure hot dogs and hamburgers are going to be enough? What do you mean? Well, should we not... Throw on some fish or chicken on the grill? And dogs and burgers are fine. It's just Casey and Eliza. You're right. I don't know. We just, we've never entertained like this before. It just feels so adult. What are you talking about? We have parties at our apartment all the time. Yeah, but that wasn't our home. I mean, it was our home at the time. Plus, you're overthinking this, okay? It's not like we're entertaining the King of England. <laughs> I know. I just, I want everyone to have a good time. They will. I promise, all right? Well, I have to admit, Casey, I thought you made a mistake. I mean, I told Vivian you'd miss it after a month. Uh, miss what? Catching the same handful of perps and then seeing on the street the next day? Or, uh, I ate constantly on my ass. No, no, no. It's got to be the 36-hour shifts, right? Those I miss. Oh. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, being a cop, it's in our family's blood. Well, you didn't join law enforcement. Well, I know, but, I mean, your father, his brothers, what about your pension? If you make him change his mind, Ryan, I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> no, babe, not to worry about that. The pension was tough. And the health insurance. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, working for a private security company, you get some perks, too. Like what? Spying on cheating spouses for hours? 
That's only a fraction of what I do. The majority of the time, it's uh, insurance fraud. Mm -hmm. And that, pretty exciting. And a lot less dangerous, right, than being on the streets. I didn't know private investigators did that. Yeah, well, the insurance companies had their own internal division. But you know, the way things are, with cost cutting, they started farming out some of the work. Mm. I got into this at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now that he's not on the streets, I can sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, hello! I brought red and I brought bubbly because I didn't know what you were serving. Uh, Josh, what are you doing here? Well, when you mentioned barbecue earlier, I made a note to try and make it, but I'm a little late, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Josh Thomas. Casey Hansen. It's my wife, Eliza. Hi. Pleasure. So, what do you two think of the new house? We'd love it. We've been trying to get these two to move to the suburbs for years. Uh, we actually bought the house from Josh. Oh, I'm surprised you wanted to give it up. It's absolutely lovely. Well, I'm just glad it's in good hands now. I don't know if Vivian told you guys, but I worked on some of the upgrades. Yeah, Josh has been very generous with his talents. Nah, I enjoy it. So, Casey, are you in sales like Ryan? Uh, private security. Wow, that sounds dangerous. Well, it's more like private investigation. And what do you do now? Private investigation. <laughs> <laughs> well, nowadays everyone has their secrets. <laughs> Josh, can I talk to you in private for a moment? Of course. Let me get back, I'll uncork those for you. <sighs> you moved the corkscrew. I used to keep it over here. What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Hey, right, don't play games with me, Josh. Ryan, I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. Just showing up here uninvited? Uninvited? I already said, Vivian mentioned it earlier. I can't imagine why she'd bring it up if she didn't want me to come. Well, I'm sure she mentioned it in passing. Well, I bet we can clear this all up if we just ask her. No! Get your hand off me! I'd like for you to leave. Ryan, come on. Now, Josh! Okay. I'll just say my goodbyes. No, I'll say goodbyes for you. Go out the front. What was that all about? Don't even ask. Oh, I almost forgot. Vivian gave it to me. What happened to your friend? Did you invite him? No, of course not. Well, he said you did. I might have mentioned it, but I didn't expect him to show up. So you did? No, I just said I didn't. I actually think we gotta get going. Um, yeah. it, this was lovely. <laughs> yeah. It's wonderful, Viv. It really is. You should come back soon. I will. I promise. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, well, you call me if you need anything. Appreciate that. He's got oodles and oodles of time. <laughs> He's starting to drive me crazy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing my shirt. I gave it to him. You don't find that odd? Like I explained this to you a million times. The faucet broke and he got soaked. So why is he wearing it to the barbecue? He was returning it. Who wears a shirt they're returning, Vivian? All right, let's just calm down and think this through. There's nothing to think through. He's gone and he's leaving town. We'll probably never see him again. Did you lead him on? You know, to get back at me? Lead him on? Yeah. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just tell me now, please. I'm not as petty as you, Ryan. Okay, but you never really forgave me either. No, you don't get to do this. You don't get to turn this around and make me feel guilty for your infidelity. Infidelity? What are you talking about? I never touched her. You know, I'm not going to litigate this with you again. I I moved past it. No, evidently not. You brought it up! <sighs> okay. I'm going to say this one last time. So listen closely, Vivian, okay? Nothing happened. She was your assistant! And I never touched her! No, what you did was worse. <sighs> it was an emotional affair. You know, I knew you could never really forgive me. 
and you just can't help but bring it up when it's convenient for you. Viv. Viv. I'm coming in. Sorry, I can't take her call. Please leave a name and number. Hey, it's me. I know you're probably still mad, but uh, just call me back, please, all right? And don't worry, you got your revenge. My back tightened up and I could barely move. I love you. Great to see you, sweetheart. But I was expecting an invitation to the housewarming party rather than a coffee date. We're still getting the house in order, Dad. Yeah, there's always more than you anticipate. No, I, I remember when your mother and I bought our first house. Actually, we have someone else helping us with that, the previous owner. Oh? Yeah, he knows the house the best, and he's good with his hands. <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, how does Ryan feel about that? You were never one for subtlety, were you? <laughs> you know what? I know how much you love your home brew, so I knew there was an ulterior motive for inviting me here. Do you remember when I told you about our issues? Remind me. You said it was always easier to forgive than to forget. Sounds like one of your pop's pearls of wisdom. Well, what if you made an effort to forgive but you thought you had, but you really had it. I don't understand. I don't know. Do you think I'm just subconsciously punishing Ryan for what happened? I think that you're looking for an easy answer for something that does not have one. Do you really want my advice? Yeah, I do. Talk to him. I was afraid you were going to say that. I know. It was know. just so much easier for you to just tell me what to do. Well, welcome to adulthood. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you crazy? I just got the baby down for a nap. 
You know how rare that is? Come on. Follow me. Don't make a sound. I'll make us coffee. All right. Again, I'm sorry. Oh, don't mention it. Once you have kids, you'll see. <laughs> Babies ain't at this early. Oh, when we wake up at five, you bet. So, what'd you say? You're looking for your wife? Yeah, I... It's... I can't reach her. I'm sure it's no big deal, like her phone's dead or something, but I was wondering if you'd seen her this morning. Well, this is the first time I'm outside today. All right. Uh, can I ask you a question? You know Josh, right? Who we bought the house from? Yeah, I sure did. Lived next door for years. So you knew his fiance too? Yeah, of course. Nice woman. I assumed it was tragic what had happened to her. Hmm. So what did happen to her? No one really knows. No, I mean, how'd she die? Die? She didn't die. But Josh told me that he lost her. Well, in a matter of speaking, I guess you could say. She left him a few months ago. Really? Yep. Last I talked to Josh, I hadn't seen her since. So where's she now? Who knows? Well, someone must. Well, someone in the neighborhood does. They're not talking. Jill thinks she doesn't want to be found. Why? Woman's intuition, I guess you could say. She never liked Josh. He always gave her the creeps, and she figured Michelle, that was her name, must have felt the same way. And what do you think? Me? I got no proof of anything. Well, I didn't ask you had proof. I asked what you think. Well, if my wife left me, I'd be devastated. And as far as I can tell, he's as happy as ever. Huh. Just be glad he's moving Ryan. A guy like that, he's not good for the neighborhood. Where have you been? I've been out all day running errands. What do you mean? I just got back. I called and texted. Well, I was angry. Oh my God, I thought something happened to you. Where are you? I'm going to go see Casey. Casey, why? Yeah, just look, Viv, I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to fight either. But it's hard when you accuse me of something I didn't do. Look, I, I know, and I'm sorry. But look, I won't be home too late. Do me a favor. If... Hey, can we talk about this later? I gotta go. Hey, Viv! Viv! Josh! Hello, Vivian. May I come in? Uh, what are you doing here? I came to apologize about the barbecue. Look, I, I think it'd be better if I came in. It won't be long, I promise. So what are you asking me to do? I'm asking you to do what you do and investigate him. Investigate what? Anything you can. Look, man, there's nothing wrong with the house, right? No. And the deal is closed, obviously. So what? So let sleeping dogs lie. I mean, this guy has nothing to do with you anymore. I admit it was weird. He showed up to the barbecue, but he left as soon as you asked him to leave. OK, well, he told me that his fiance died, and now I found out that she left him. You don't find that a little strange? Strange, but not your problem. OK, our neighbors, the ones next door, good people, he freaked them out, too. Again. Not your problem. Are you going to help me or not? If I say no, you're going to hire someone else. Absolutely. Your biggest competitor. Usually I give you the family rate. You know that. Right? But I'm not. I want you to realize how ridiculous this actually is. I really just think the barbecue is a miscommunication. And I apologize for my husband. Sometimes he can get... Well, he can get worked up over nothing. Well, I can't say I blame him. If you were my wife, I'm sure I'd feel the same. Knowing that other men were always looking at you. Josh, please. Can I ask you something, Vivian? Are you happy? What? Yeah, are you happy? With Ryan? With your life? Of course. Okay. Why? I don't know you that well, but I've been around the past few weeks and I notice things. Well, every couple has their ups and downs, but overall, yeah, I'm happy. Because you shouldn't settle for anything less. You know that, right? I love my husband. I'm sure you do. And 
where is the man in the house now? Um, he's meeting his cousin, Casey. You met him at the barbecue. Private investigator? Yeah, that's right. Well, I should be going, Vivian. Oh, uh, when are you leaving for Utah? Um, we'll see. I still have a few things to finish up here. But don't worry. I'll be sure to say goodbye. And since the last time we met, your feelings for this woman haven't changed? Well, she isn't an easy woman to shake. But she still hasn't responded to your overtures. Josh, does this woman... I'm sorry, what's your name again? Vivian. Yes, Vivian. Does Vivian even know how you feel about her? We have a connection. Because sometimes, when your emotions are very strong like yours are, we fantasize what the other person is feeling. It's very common. What are you trying to say, Dr. Shaw? I'm only saying that it's important for you to know how Vivian really feels. You can't just assume that she feels the same way you do. I appreciate your concern, but I assure you... Well, there is one small issue. She happens to be married. She's married? Currently. Like, right now. But things change quickly. Yeah, I know that better than anyone. Has she given you any reason to believe she's planning on leaving her husband? <laughs> she can't be married to both of us. Josh, have you been taking your medication? Of course. Well, I think it's time we up the dosage. What are we doing here, Casey? I told you not to come. This is the address, all right. So whose house or non-house is this supposed to be? Remember the guy at the barbecue? Mm-hmm. Ryan doesn't trust him. Yeah, I got that, but why are we here? Because this is where he's supposed to live. You think... Ah, forget it. No, what? You think she's cheating on him? Who, Vivian? Yeah. Why would you ask me that? I just don't see why Ryan would be so interested in this guy, Josh. But you didn't answer my question. I didn't think I had to. No, I don't think Vivian's cheating. She probably wouldn't tell you anyways. Probably not as close as we are. Ryan's your cousin. Yeah. Ugh, can we get out of here, please? This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> sure, let's go. Mr. Williams, you're very lucky to be alive. Your head didn't hit that pavement as hard as it could have. How did I get here? A uh, neighbor found you out cold and called an ambulance. Ryan. Ow, ow. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Doc said I'll be fine. No, I said you're very lucky to be alive. We still don't know the extent of your internal injuries. Are you his wife? All right, if you want to wait here, we're going to take him down and get x-rayed right now. How long will that take? A couple hours, tops. We're real busy right now. All right, Viv, I want you to go home. I'm not going home. I'm staying right here with you. Please, I'm just going to be getting x-rayed and all I want to do is sleep, all right? My body feels like, it feels like I was hit by a van. He's on some very heavy painkillers, ma'am. He's going to sleep whether he wants to or not. Okay. Okay. Is there anything I can do? Call Casey. Tell him to get down here right away. Better or worse than Evil Knievel? Oh, would you believe it? There's no brakes. Wow. It seemed like the bumper of the van caught my hip. 
I have a sprained ankle and some nasty bruises, but that's the worst of it. Good. You're a very lucky man, Mr. Williams. I don't feel very lucky. And you'll feel worse tomorrow and the day after that. But eventually you'll heal. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, what'd you find? Wow, that vehicle that hit you, you said it was a white van, right? Yeah, the kind that workmen like painters and plumbers use. Well, Josh Thomas has that exact vehicle registered in his name. Okay, well, that's perfect. I'll just go to the cops and let them know, and then they can pick him up. The van's bound to have damage on it, and probably my DNA. What? I don't think the police are going to find him. Why not? Because the address you gave me for him, the one from the bill of sale? Yeah. Doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? I mean it doesn't exist. It's a real street in a real town, but there's no house with that number. Well, how is that even possible? It would have been flagged during the sale. I mean, why? All the documentation was in order. The financial transactions, it was a money wire, right? So why would they need to check his current address? So there's no way for us to find him? Well, I didn't say that. What's this? Uh, it's an address for a storage locker he rents. How'd you get that? Credit card statements. What? I was a cop for a long time. You don't think I have friends in low places? Is that legal? Blood is thicker than water. I'll check it out tomorrow. Uh, I gotta get going, though. Cheating husband calls. No, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. You? What are you gonna do? I don't know, but you've done enough, Casey. Thank you. Oh, you want? Don't mention it. Just heal up, Kenz. All right. I just heard what happened. Is he okay? I... How did you hear about that? Casey, his friend. He told me. Um, why were you talking to Casey? Ryan left me a message about the invoice, so I gave him a call back and... Casey answered the phone. He told me everything that happened. So... How are you? <laughs> Here. Drink this. Thank you. Does the police know what happened? They said it was a hit and run. Well, don't worry. They'll catch him. Or her. They have cameras everywhere these days. Well, it was in a neighborhood. I... I don't know. Vivian, can I be honest with you? Yeah, of course. I didn't come over here just to see how Ryan was. Before I knew that Ryan was going to be okay, I couldn't bear the thought of you being by yourself. Well, I'm okay now, Josh. Well, I won't be. I can't ignore it anymore, Vivian. My feelings for you. Josh, please. I think you should leave. Don't tell me you didn't feel it, too. The time we spent together? Fixing up this house, making it ours? Josh, that was never- Tell me you didn't go to bed every night wishing it was me there lying next to you. Tell me you didn't, I'll leave. I didn't. Then you're a liar. You need to leave. Now. All right. Okay, don't get excited. I can tell you're not ready to admit it to yourself yet. But remember, Vivian, all you have to do is call and I'll come running. 
Go! So tell me, Josh, how have you been feeling? Me? Oh, I've been great. Really? Even with increased dosage? No side effects? Well, I gotta tell you, Doc. I didn't increase the dosage. In fact, I've stopped taking my meds altogether. Joshua, I have to tell you, I don't think that was a good idea at all. Forget about increasing the dosage, which I believe you needed to do. Stopping your medication altogether without winning yourself off can have serious side effects. In fact, I don't think I need therapy anymore. Josh. It's nothing against you, Dr. Shaw. You've been a good therapist. It's just, everything seems crystal clear to me now. No, that's simply a result of you stopping your medication. No. No, I don't think that's it. You see, I think the problem is that nobody understood our relationship. Which relationship? My relationship with Vivian. Your relationship with that woman is highly problematic. Uh, according to you, Vivian doesn't even want to see you again. <laughs> Dr. Shaw, I think I'm cured. Will you let me help you? I told you, I'm fine. You could be as stubborn as a mule, you know? Who could that be? I'll get it. <sighs> Mrs. Williams? Yes. I'm Detective Carla Jones. Mr. Williams? Did you find him? I'm sorry. The van that hit me. No, I, uh... I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Casey Hansen was killed yesterday. <gasps> I just saw him. His car was found outside the hospital, his body about a mile away, in an abandoned lot. His wife, Eliza? She's with her parents. She asked me to notify you. I'm really very sorry. I'll see myself out. It was him. What was who? Josh, he killed Casey. Ryan, what are you talking about? I had Casey investigate him. Why? Because I didn't trust him, you know that. And you didn't talk to me about it? You didn't ask? Okay, you were getting too close. Right? Every time I brought him up, you would just defend him. I think Josh ran me over and then he killed Casey. Okay, Ryan, I get you dislike him, but this is crazy. This is not crazy. There are things about him that you don't know. Like what? I talked to our neighbor Brad about him. And what did he say? Did you know that his fiance didn't die? What do you mean? I mean that she left him and no one has seen her since. And did you know the place where he claims to live, he doesn't live? In fact, the place doesn't even exist. Look at me, then. This isn't about me being jealous. This is about the fact that we let a seriously deranged man into our lives. Into our home. We need to go to the police. Tell them everything we know. If we accuse him without hard evidence, they'll never listen to anything we say again. We have to be sure. And do what, short of being killed? Casey discovered that Josh was renting a, a storage locker. He bribed the manager that's working there. Are you sure you're up for it? Absolutely. We'll check out the locker, but I need to see Eliza first. <laughs> I just can't believe that he's gone. I, I don't know what to say. You just being here, I really appreciate it. I just, I just can't help thinking that this is my fault. Come on, Viv, come on. You had nothing to do with this. Casey knew the dangers of the job. It's what he loved most about it. Yeah, but if Ryan didn't ask Casey to investigate, then... Then? It could have been somebody else. As a wife of a cop, he learned that it doesn't do any good to play what-ifs. 
You should stay with us for a while. Thank you, but I'm already going to my mom's. I already promised her, and I think she's looking forward to taking care of me. Oh. Here. What's this? The file that Casey started on Josh. I thought there might be something in there that you could use, and the cops will probably want to take a look at it, too. Thank you. Promise me one thing, Fifth. Promise me you'll get him. This is the address Casey gave me. Here it is. Do you have the code? Memorized it. Where did Casey even get it? I don't think I want to ask too many questions. What are we looking for? I don't know. Something that tells us where Josh is, where he's going, or something about his past. Well, he really is a handyman. Look at all these old tools. Just look for a document that has an address or a phone number on it. We should have gone to the police. Well, let's just hurry up so we can get out of here. I don't understand why you didn't tell me any of this earlier. Could have saved you quite a fright, Mrs. Williams. I already told you we had no proof. What about the body? From what we know thus far, it's definitely Sandy Casper. He told me he had a brother in uh, Utah. Maybe he's headed that way. According to what we know, both of his parents are deceased. No next of kin. So he lied about that too. So how are you going to protect us until you find him? I'll keep a car outside your house, but do you have any reason to believe he might come back? He'll come back for me. Excuse me? I said he'll come back for me. He told me he was in love with me. What? He came to the house, he was raving, and then I threw him out. And you didn't tell me that? You were in the hospital. Okay, Mrs. Williams, right now, Mr. Thomas's one goal is to avoid being captured. He must know we've been to his storage locker. My guess is he wants to be as far away from you as possible. But like I said, I'll keep a man on your house at all times. Why don't you two go home and get some rest? I'll call you when we have an update. Thank you, Detective. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Like? I don't know. I mean, that was a pretty big admission back there. He said that he loved you. He was crazy, Ryan. Well, I just feel like a fool the extent of what was going on. There was nothing going on, okay? The day of the accident, he came over, said he heard about it, and then the moment he made his feelings known, I, I threw him out. Well, wh then why not just tell me that? I... I don't know. I guess... It was a part of me that was afraid that I might have let him on. Allowing him to do all those things around the house. All right, just listen to me carefully, Viv. It's not your fault. It's his and his alone. All right? Can you drop me off at the office? You sure that's a good idea? I haven't been there since the accident. I have a couple things I need to take care of. You nervous to be home alone? No, no. Detective Jones says there'll be an officer at the house. I was thinking about you. Are you sure you're up for it? I'll only be a couple hours, and I'll call you when I need to be picked up. Maybe I'll go see Eliza. I'm sure she'd like that. I knew this house was too good to be true. The house is perfect. We're just taking out the trash. <laughs> I don't need him. Need Thanks. help? No, once I get to my office, I'll just be in my chair anyway. Okay, well, call me when you're ready and I'll come pick you up. I love you. I love you too. Michelle? Charles? Yes? Uh, I, I need to talk to you about your ex-fiance. Is he here? What? No, no, of course not. Uh, does he know where I am? No, not that I know of. How did you find me? With the help of a private investigator. Not here. Follow me. I haven't seen him since the day I left. And I wanted it that way. Technically, we're not even divorced. But... 
When I left, I wanted no ties to him, not even his name. I was the one that went to therapy when things started to fall apart. And Josh wouldn't come with me. And the therapist diagnosed him. He has OLD. <laughs> Old? I laughed the first time I heard it too, but it's real enough. You can Google it. it stands for obsessive love disorder. It's when somebody fixates on someone else well beyond what is normal in a healthy relationship. Can you treat it? No, let's just say I left far before I could find out. What took me a long time to realize is that it was never about me. It was always about what he wanted. Is he dangerous? No. I mean, not like in the way that you would imagine. He never laid a hand on me, and he was never verbally abusive. I mean, in fact, the longer the relationship went on, the more he doted on me. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> it wasn't. Until he told me that he couldn't live a single moment without me. And that if I ever left him, he would kill himself after he killed me. Are you serious? More importantly, he was too. You can't let him in, Vivian. Because if you do, you'll never get him out. Jones. Hi, Detective Jones. This is Vivian Williams. Um, everything okay, Mrs. Williams? Yeah, everything's fine, except I don't see any of your men outside. Oh, uh, we're still setting their schedules. Someone will be there before dark, though. You have my word. Okay. Thank you. Sure.
How are you feeling? Untie me! I'm afraid I can't do that, babe. You were watching me. Uh huh. I was. I've been watching you for a long time, babe. After all, how do you think you got such a good deal on the house? After my fiance left, I needed to find someone else. And I gotta tell you, Viv, you seem perfect. You killed Casey. You tried to kill Ryan. Casey, he was, he was getting too close. As for Ryan, well, without Ryan, I'd have you. Josh, if I ever gave you a reason to think. Oh, you gave me more than a reason, Viv. Much more than a reason. You didn't think what we had? Working together? Updating this house? Our house? What are you gonna do? Don't worry about that. The water's warm. You'll panic. It won't take long. It'll be over before you know it. Ow! It'll be just like falling asleep. Vivian! Don't move. Hero! Back to save his damsel in distress. She should have stayed away, Ryan. Left well enough alone. What'd you think was gonna happen? You were just gonna limp in here and I was gonna roll over? Someone who doesn't even know how to use a socket wrench? She was never good enough for you. You guys okay? murders culminated earlier today with the death of the alleged perpetrator 32 year old contractor josh thomas how did you know to come i didn't after you left i've had more material that casey dug up on josh i was just bringing it over to you guys and the gun for protection in case in case that son of a bitch ever came after you You okay? No. But I will be. Well, you know you're always welcome here. You guys are going to stay here? Yeah. It's our home. 